Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So you've got a piece of equipment in your hands there, Brandon. I mean, this is not uh, anything strange, really. You're always carrying something around, but uh, it looks like a splitter. So this is an HDMI input splitter. So let's say you've got a projector, and it only has one HDMI in. Mm -hmm. And you want to play both your Xbox and your PlayStation. But well, not at the do. same time. You just don't want to have to unplug one and, and then go to the other. Got it. So this is a splitter from Pelican, and it's like $35 at Best Buy. And it will detect which of your devices is on, and it will switch between them. Really? Or, so it'll know like what, you're, what source you're trying to pull? Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you have them both on, there's a little button you can... How, how does it switch. how does it know like which source is hot? I mean, whatever's pulling a some so kind of signal or pushing HDMI a signal. pushes some voltage across the line, mm -hmm. and it basically just detects which one. And if you turn one on while the other is on, it just switches. So if you've got the Xbox always on and you turn the PS3 on, it'll switch to the PS3, and when you turn the PS3 off, it'll switch back to the Xbox. Is HDMI the only kind of cable that effectively does this right now for at least home theater environments? I think so. Uh, there's no, there's, there's like no reason DisplayPort shouldn't also do it, but I've never seen one of these devices for DisplayPort. 